all right so in this video i'm going to talk about how you should probably start this project and how i started this project so first thing when you're building any application you should always keep the project files in version control so i use git here and vs code has a good integration with git so if you click here it's going to track all the changes which you made and you can add them and add comments to them and it's going to take this very good inter interface which exactly tells you which parts you have changed and all i'm not going to commit them at this moment but i'm going to explain them how i uh, proceeded so first thing which I was i made a scaffold the application with the express generator got all those files and then i um, initialized the project with git in it and then the next thing was create a git ignore file like you really don't want to add your vs code uh, vs code folder files or node modules to, ver to version control because node modules as you know it gets um, hundreds of files there and you really really don't need to put them so add these two it's quite important uh, add the git ignore file and then the next thing which uh, you should always always do is have a linting have a, have a linter installed since it's pure javascript i'm using eslint here so you can see in the, in the package json if i turn it here so in my dev depend dev dependency there is eslint and eslint is also globally installed so have a linter installed and use a popular style guide or something uh, i just so the first one available airbnb it's pretty good i mean what's the issue like, because like uh, you may have your own coding style and then other person may have a different uh, coding style and then you can't read his code you can read your code and it's a mess so if you have a style guide set and then it's we are going to face those problems like single quotes double quote tab space all these problems is solved there so first thing was do this and then always have a separate routes file like always don't just um, don't hard code your routes file your routes in your app js or any file just have a different routes file it's a good practice your app will run if you have all your uh, routes in one file but then why will you do that like um, just have a separate routes file that's better as you can see the i have three specific routes here so i put them in the routes file okay and so these are some ground rules which we set and then like um since it's mvc architecture this express thing is like you can make it as an mvc thing but the why does know it's mvc so it's model view controller here so uh, express does not give us a model folder so i created a model folder this model folder is going to have our business logic it's going to have the database connection uh, string and you un unfortunately you can see my password and username but i'm change it so no issues here and then uh, 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 my schema and the and my schema and then the uh, what am what am i trying to find um the word uh, the, what i'm trying to find is the uh, database function that which should actually talk to the database because the mvc the mvc architecture says your views or controller should not ever talk to the database directly only the model file should talk to the database so this is our views here, the views folder, but I'm not really using them. It's what came from the generator and our logic basically is here in the routes folder. So we can probably change this to controller or something, but yeah, it's not route, so I need to change it. So after that, um, like always, always keep your things very systematic like models in models views in views routes in routes or if you have you may need some helper class so but do something for helper class um, 
make a utils folder make a utils folder and then in the utils folder create a file called helper.js or something like like if you go through projects and or like uh, from open source projects you'll always see the structure like this and it's a pretty good structure actually you know exactly what to expect in a utils folder so it's all good okay so then i'm going to show you my screens because that's the first route coming here so always 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 try to keep your functions short and concise um, here it seems big because I added comments here and there I don't need this I can probably remove this uh, if I remove all the unnecessary things it will become shorter and then here as you can see a single line for loop is extending three lines so it looks big but it's actually quite small so always keep your um, files Small, small, sorry, files, the length, uh, lines of code, small, about 200 to 300 lines. Don't make it like go for 600, 800, 1000 lines. It's difficult to wrap your head around this. Keep your function small as well. See this as screen function, uh, this like for this particular route, it uh, takes in the data, passes it to JSON, then creates a uh, particular object for our database because our request is not in the proper format with which we can save it to our database so we have to convert it to a particular format which we can use for our database so I wrote a function for this and I'm calling that function so like, like separate your work in functions and because it will be better that way and then uh, this is my model for like for, the, for storing it or something yeah models or add screen dot then use promises and async await um, promise are very good very helpful actually async await is also good but um, yeah this you know like uh, at times you can have to use promise at times you have to be async await so I use promises here I didn't use async await so it's going to give us status and then it's going to return as json which is status and Catch and uh, see, I wrote here console.log, but uh, that's how much time I have. <coughs> but you should probably use a logger. So, we have a logger installed. If you open the app.js file, a logger called Morgan, I guess. Uh, Morgan, 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 or Winston, what is it called? Winston, yeah, Morgan. So, we have uh, a logger called Morgan, and we can uses logger to actually log our data to our to a particular text file instead of using console log that's a better approach but since I didn't have much time to set all those up so I use logger here so uh, after that um, as you can see uh, for this particular these two routes I'm calling these two files the reserve and seed file so seeds is again a this is a big file actually. It's about 150 lines, but it's not that difficult, anyways. So this some okay, some of these functions are quite um, it, it it got out of hand eventually because um, you know the time was short and then but whatever like try to keep a function small and break the task the smaller task. See like this console log if it goes away then we can save a lot of lines so it's not that bad also so this is save this and go so ESLint was complaining it's not really an error but it was ESLint's way of like this this is some standard something anyways so to save it is all good <coughs> so this function got a bit longer and I should probably okay use restructuring whenever it's possible um, it's it's an ES6 way of uh, doing. Use the language features; they're there to help us. And yeah, I don't think um, there's more I can talk about here. So probably the next videos, if uh, you guys want, I will go about how I approach this problem. But that's it for this video. Thank you.